Good evening and welcome to uh, what will be a great three-week celebration of our incredible teachers at DSST. I am so sorry that we are doing it in this form. Our night for exemplary teaching has just been cursed this year with a snowstorm in February and now uh, the pandemic in May. And I truly wish we could be doing this together in person, celebrating our incredible teachers uh, at our night of exemplary teaching like we've done in the past. But uh, things we can't control, and so we do want to spend some time over the next three weeks celebrating our new master teachers, our incredible master teachers who truly are extraordinary, our new lead teachers and accomplished teachers. As you know, our teachers are our greatest, greatest resource at DSST. They are the folks who make it happen. They are uh, the folks who help our young people become the best versions of themselves, who help our young people learn and grow and become incredible young people ready to go off uh, and learn in higher education and beyond. Uh, DSST is so grateful for our teachers and for the amazing work they do with our young people every day. Uh, and I wish uh, we could do this in person, but we will be hearing over the next uh, three weeks from colleagues, from students, um, about how amazing these teachers are and how we can celebrate them in this moment is so important to us as an organization. My hope is that next year we will be able to do this in person, um, but we didn't want this year to go by without uh, giving a chance to celebrate these teachers uh, in, in a meaningful way. So thank you for joining us. I look forward to these next three weeks and next three nights and celebrating our teachers in a really meaningful way. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to our uh, school director at College View Middle School, Libby Bryan. My name is Libby Bryan and I am the proud school director at College View Middle School. I am honored to get to introduce the first master teacher that we'll be celebrating here together, the one and only Miss Katie Flynn. Katie Flynn has impacted thousands of students over the span of her career, passing along a contagious curiosity and love for mathematics. She's had an enormous impact on the College View community as a house and department leader, an instructional coach, and clearly as an exceptional teacher. Her sense of humor, data-driven practices, commitment to College View kids, and her own two amazing children are things that we deeply love and admire about Katie. Congratulations, Katie. This amazing honor recognizes years of incredible contributions and hard-earned results for students, and I am so proud and honored to be able to celebrate this with you today. For every master teacher throughout the series, we will celebrate them by hearing from coworkers and a student who they deeply impacted. Before I introduce the first student speaker, let's watch a video about Katie and what makes her such an incredible teacher. She's just one of those people that makes you really excited to be a teacher, and so I've loved her since I met her. <laughs> she absolutely loves the content that she teaches and builds these amazing, deep relationships with students using math. Katie wants kids to question the world around them and she wants them to love math in a long-term way. Last year she was like, Elise, we've got to start a math club. We've got all these gifted and talented students. Let's get them in a math competition and let's meet with them once a week. And it was one of those things where she was so excited about it. Like I couldn't say no. The kids absolutely loved it and it was just a, a total blast to do math problems with them. Her desire to like push her passion onto others goes into her core of her being. She is not thinking about just sixth grade. She's thinking about who they're gonna be for the rest of their life. I get to teach kids who had Miss Flynn and it's like, I can see that she's had an impact on them. Like it's, it's evident. She truly embodies the idea that it is not within math whether or not you get 100% on a problem. It's your mindset about who you are as a mathematician in her room. You're only wrong if you don't try a problem. So here in this class, we try every problem every day. The way she gets kids to ask questions and evaluate and think, it's, I mean, it's truly unbelievable. Katie knows this. She talks a lot 
um, sort of stream of consciousness. You, you might think you're just saying hi to her in the hallway and then it's like 15 minutes later. You've just had a super fun conversation and gotten a deluge of information. But it all comes from this like very deep place of curiosity. She is so excited about teaching. I'm more excited to be a teacher just from having gotten to talk with Katie. She has had a ripple effect in the student achievement of this school. She just makes this a great place to work. Just love her so much. Now I'm excited to introduce College View 7th grader, Natalie Soriano. Hello, I am Natalie Soriano and I am a 7th grader at DSST College View Middle School here to present this speech to celebrate Ms. Flynn. To start, I would like to mention that Ms. Flynn is a phenomenal teacher who lives out our school's core values in everything she does. But overall, she embodies doing your best and responsibility the most. Ms. Flynn comes to class every day prepared to match the needs of all of her students in her classroom. She fills the room with energy and makes learning math fun and interesting. At the beginning of sixth grade, I hated math and wasn't good at it. But by the time we were through the first trimester, I was performing above grade level and was always ecstatic about going to math class. She not only had a strong influence on me, but on many other students as well. I know this for a fact because at the beginning of seventh grade, while we were having advisory circles and answering the question, what was your favorite class last year? Almost every girl said math with Ms. Flynn. Finally, I would like to personally thank you, Ms. Flynn, for the opportunities you have presented me with, such as introducing me to my love for computer science and giving me a flyer to encourage me to go to a coding camp at the Colorado School of Mines. Our school would not be the same without your kind attitude and motivation. I am glad to be celebrating this with you today. Congratulations and keep being the amazing teacher everyone knows you to be. Thank you, Natalie, and congratulations again to Katie Flynn. Now to introduce our next master teacher is Adil Khan. Hi, my name is Adil Khan and I'm the school director at Conservatory Green High School. It is my pleasure and honor to celebrate Sarah Seaman, our master teacher who exemplifies the core values of our network and an unrelenting commitment to our mission. Sarah has created a competitive environment in her classes that has led to extraordinary results for her students. She and they, always want to be the best, and they have a lot of fun while doing it. She's an incredible advisor who loves her advisees, exhibiting patience, deep care, and high expectations for all of them. She's founded our student council program as well, and has been a driving force for positive culture at CHEHS from the start. She supports other teachers on our team as department lead, and is always seeking opportunities to improve our school and help our students become the best versions of themselves. I can't think of someone more deserving of this honor. Congratulations, Sarah. Before we hear from a student who has a special message about Mrs. Seaman, we'll watch a short video of some of her teammates on what makes her so amazing. Enjoy. She is a huge part of the reason we have the school that we have today. She is bubbly and energetic and sweeps you right in. You can see that joy and passion in her classroom. I've never met someone who is as passionate about math as Mrs. Seaman. Kids are sucked into the world of math when they walk into her classroom. It's always a fun and joyful and really rigorous place to be. She has a giant lit up math um, with lights on it clear that she really loves what she teaches and the students who maybe have never liked math before fall in love with it in her classroom. To see kids who are working so hard and also just having a blast while doing it is something that really embodies who Sarah is. She develops students' belief in themselves that they can be successful. It's through a lot of laughter, she's able to find connections and build rapport with kids no matter how they show up academically. Sarah invests in them individually. I'm always impressed by the wide variety of students for whom Sarah is their person. She shares herself with them and students and staff around her want to work to be their best selves around Sarah. Just continues to build this really warm, positive, fun community. Everything she does in her classroom is driving students towards growth and success. She brings a sense of humor to her class. Sarah has a, a pet rabbit named Theodore who makes his um, way into a lot of math problems and I'm pretty sure Theodore has visited school. I didn't know it was coming and kids loved it. It was hilarious. 
She makes you feel passionate about the work that you do because you can feel it in her. She has played such a huge role in, in building this school and the campus that we have today. We are so thankful for Sarah and our school would not be what it is without Mrs. Seaman. Now I'd like to introduce our student speaker, founding junior, Stonewall Napier. Hello, my name is Stonewall Napier, and I would like to speak about a great teacher and friend of mine, Sarah Seaman. I would like to recognize Ms. Seaman for all the amazing things she's done at DSST Conservatory Green High School. I've known Ms. Seaman for about three years. I remember when I first walked into her class, and she was this big ball of joy and energy, ready to teach everyone the wonderful world of math. Although she's a friend of mine today, our relationship didn't start that way. When I initially walked into her advisory freshman year, I sat down in my assigned seat right next to a good buddy of mine. Once I settled in, I looked at the front board and read the name Seaman. And to be honest with you, I chuckled a bit. I thought to myself, my teacher's name is Miss Seaman? I dreaded going to her math class later that day. I knew she was going to be too loud and too energetic, but that was then. I soon learned that her math class was going to be the best math class I'd ever gone to. As a teacher, Miss Seaman has a very unique teaching method. She teaches fast, yet it's very effective. After she teaches a new topic, she explains why we need to learn it. That's something I've never experienced as a student before. It's always been learn this and that, but never why. Ms. Seaman's fast teaching style makes it very hard to doze off or daydream, keeping students hooked on the topic. I've had Ms. Seaman as a math teacher again this year. Don't worry, I didn't get held back. She moved up. Every day, I look forward to going to her class to say hello, learn some math, and give her that high five for Friday. As long, for as long as I've known Miss Seaman, she has always been kind and caring to everyone she's ever met, and that is what stands out to me. Her compassion for others, her kindness towards students, family, and her bunnies, her devotion to helping students learn math, and her amazing attitude and outlook on the world. Her constant natural positivity is sure to make everyone stay brighter. Congratulations, Miss Seaman, on your Master Teacher Award. I'm very proud of you for all of your hard work at DSST and to be able to call you my friend. Thanks, Stonewall. That was great. Next up is Leah Peters, our Vice President of Academics, who will be celebrating our accomplished teachers. Thank you, Adil. My name is Leah Peters, and I'm the Vice President of Academics at DSST Public Schools. I am so excited to announce and recognize our network's newest accomplished teachers. The Accomplished Teacher Award is given to teachers who after three or more years in the classroom have shown a consistent commitment to their students, demonstrated by their achievements in the areas of culture, team, and instruction, as well as their incredible student outcomes. I am so grateful for the privilege and opportunity to work with so many of you over the course of this year and as we've launched eSchool. And I am reminded of a quote by Lee Iacocca that says, in a completely rational society, the best of us would be teachers because the rest of us would have to settle for something less because passing civilization along from one generation to the next ought to be the highest honor and the highest responsibility anyone could have. I have seen you, our accomplished teachers at DSST, do so much more than pass on civilization from one generation to the next. You are giving our students the critical thinking, the knowledge, the adaptive skills to not just accept civilization as it is, but to build something new when they get out into the world. Thank you for your commitment to all of our students. Thank you for your service at DSST and for the excellence that you bring every day. This year's accomplished teachers are Zachary Baca, Kevin Burstler, Christoph Bultema, Adeline Burgos, Robert Costanzo, Heather Charlton, Ellen Clausen, Melissa Dubai, Maria Gordon, Natalie Gravy, Alex Hasserot Arnold. Dylan Jensen, Kristen Perales, Anne Solsky, Evan Asherall, Sadia Aziz, Amanda Berg, Jacob Booty, Zach Carlson, Godfrey De La Hose, Alex Drummond, Ashley Gelb, Michelle Graham, 
Chad Gressimer, Christopher Jones, Meriwether Joyner, Natalie Jung, Shannon King, Megan Knox, Laura Knox, Joven Lusa, Victoria Martinez, Maria McGillivary, Alex Madrano, Reese Quinn, Daniel Schneider, Alexandra Scott, Sarah Simcheski, Cameron Shane, Shasta Smith, Blake Stepan, Roxanne Stern, Jessica Wade, Andrew Walker, and Jasmine Yap. Congratulations to our accomplished teachers. Now I'd like to introduce Ellen Curry, our DSST Buyer School Director, who will present the next Master Teacher Award. My name is Ellen Curry and I'm the School Director at DSST Buyers. I am here tonight to honor Lauren Flatter uh, and I have known Lauren since she started at Buyers in her first full year of teaching solo after an AT year and I have so much respect for Lauren. She is phenomenally creative, deeply committed to her craft, um, spends tons of time thinking if I ever have something that I need to troubleshoot on or think creatively about, I come to Lauren because I know that she will have depth and perspective that will help me get to the best solution. Before we hear from a student about Ms. Platter, we are going to watch a short video from some members of our team about what makes her so exemplary. I really truly have never been as impressed with someone as I am with Lauren Berger Platter. I just remember being blown away by how powerful her presence is and just has this like essence about her that I was like, I want to be like that someday. She is someone who exudes passion for math and exudes passion for teaching math. If anybody is ever like, where should I go observe? I'm like, yeah, go see Lauren teach. Every single time I watch her teach, I learn something new. She has a very unique way of teaching that really engages students. I can picture her in her classroom kind of doing her like thinker pose and really pushing students to that right is right space. The bar is always set very high and students rise to that bar. They know that Lauren is truly taking responsibility for their futures in math. She is just somebody that is such a phenomenal listener. She really knows people and people feel known and valued by her. The compassion she shows in her interactions, it, it, she is a very special person. I don't think there's anyone in our buyers community that leaves a conversation with Lauren not feeling better for it. I learned a lot about how to be a teacher from her, um, but I learned the most how to be a good advisor. We had a student that had a baby last year that was uh, in Lauren's advisory. Lauren really stepped up to make sure that student, as a really high potential student who still really wants to go to an excellent college, was getting the supports she needs. She really went above and beyond to make sure that that student could access work and be successful. And that student is very successful in continuing this year with us. Without Lauren, I'm not sure that student would have gotten all the different supports that, that she ended up getting and deserving. I'm just so happy for Lauren and she deserves it so much, so congratulations. Students learn a lot from you every single day, just like I did. She really does find joy in the work that she does, and I'm just really grateful that she's a member of our team. Now I'd like to introduce you to Corinne McAfee. Hello everyone, my name is Corinne McAfee. I am a senior at DSST Byers High School and a very proud student of Ms. Platters. I've spent the last two years hyper-focused on getting a full ride to my top college. Now, as I found out in December, I am a Questbridge National College match recipient planning to attend my first choice Davidson College this fall. Without a doubt, the reason I was able to accomplish this was due to my compassionate, driven teachers. Hence, when asked if I would be willing to present a speech in honor of Ms. Platter, I immediately jumped at the opportunity for two main reasons. One, I've been looking for some way to tell Ms. Platter just how thankful I am to be her student. And two, duh, she deserves it. We all know that teachers are immensely dedicated to their students, but the truly amazing teachers take it to a whole other level. 
Ms. Platter is one of these amazing teachers, not just for her hard work and dedication, but also for her compassion, sincerity, and willingness to put students first. I, for one, am tremendously grateful for the variety of ways in which she has impacted my life. To give you just a brief understanding of Ms. Platter's sheer awesomeness, <laughs> I'm going to have to give some background. Last year, I was fortunate enough to be in Ms. Platter's AP Calculus classroom and was unfortunately projected to get a 2 on the AP exam when we started our year. But thanks to Ms. Platter's teaching strategies, organization, compassion, and dedication, I was one of multiple students in our 11-person class to end the year with a 5 on the AP exam. Aside from her help in the classroom and during extended office hours, she stays after school almost every day to help run Byers' peer tutoring program. Not only this, but she makes herself available to students at all times for personal or academic concerns. While I'm no longer her student, my connection to Ms. Platter has remained steadfast. As her teacher's aide this year, I am fortunate enough to see her teach nearly every day, and you'll often find me in her classroom after school or during lunch. Regardless, each conversation I have with Ms. Platter provides such great value to me personally. Ms. Platter, I know this award means so much to you, and I am honored to be celebrating you today, even if it isn't in person. I just think you really, really deserve this, and you deserve the recognition for being such a wonderful teacher. When I matched to Davidson, you told me I had earned it, and now I get to say the same. You earned this award for every time you listened, helped, supported, and molded me and countless other students into better, growing human beings. I couldn't be more grateful to be here celebrating you. Congratulations, Ms. Platter. Byers would not be complete without you. Thank you so much, Corinne, and huge congratulations to tonight's three master teachers and all of our accomplished teachers. You all are phenomenal. I hope you all tune in next Monday, where we will recognize three more master teachers as well as our lead teachers. Thank you so much.